Welcome back. Um, I'm Rob. If you're new to the channel, this is going to be a good one for you. If you're a returner, I see you out there trying to improve yourself. Somebody probably sent this video to you because you're trying to decide between either a mortgage broker or a mortgage lender, or you found this video on your own because you're trying to do some stuff to figure out you know, which route to choose. So I'm going to try to help you decide right now. The difference between a mortgage broker and a mortgage lender. I personally prefer a mortgage broker. That's just me. But they both have their own pros and cons. The main difference is a mortgage broker, they take your credentials and you ba they basically shop them around to different lenders. People usually do this, I guess if you don't know, don't have, don't have a lender, like I didn't have a lender that I used, so I was like, let me just find one. Mortgage lenders on the other hand, they're the ones who actually provide the loan to you. People usually choose this route, mortgage lenders, when they have a good relationship with a certain lender. Um, they do a lot of business with that lender, so they just, do all their business with their lender because they know that lender is going to give them the best rate. There's no even point in looking anywhere else. I'm a mortgage broker. The big pro, pro is you can get a really good rate. You can get a really good rate and you don't have to do any work basically. The mortgage broker is going to do all the application, all the stuff for you. Con, I guess you could say, it's not really a con to me because I didn't experience the con, but fees. Uh, you, you do pay a fee. I guess when you close on a home, you pay a fee. But my mortgage broker really, really did a lot for me and I definitely understood, I definitely understood the value of having a mortgage broker. Whether it was talking to the banks, whether it was um, getting my pre-approval letter. A mortgage lender, one of the pros is that you can get approved very quickly with a mortgage lender. Um, since you're doing their application on their website or whatever, they know what they need from you. They know the numbers that they need to kind of get you a loan and how much loan they can give you. And they do it like that. They do it really quickly. Uh, the con is it's gonna be a lot of paperwork. Um, you're doing the application process, so you're doing everything yourself. If you make a mistake on an application, they throw it out the window, you gotta start over. And also, if you wanna like, see what different lenders have to offer, you have to apply to each lender and each lender can have their own application process. So which one should you choose? That's why you're here, right? You're trying to figure out, better help yourself understand like which way should I go? Should I go mortgage lender? Should I go mortgage broker? Definitely, like I said, if you don't have any kind of relationships with any mortgage lenders, definitely go to a broker side. Um, but I'll do your own research. De definitely check it out, you know, See if a broker or a lender is right for you in your area. It depends on area as well. Just because you have the lowest rate doesn't necessarily mean it's the best loan for you. Last thing, Rob's opinion. I'm Rob. This is my opinion. Here we go. So for me, my broker asked me for some information on some accounts. I gave it to her. She crunched the numbers, gave me my like pre-approval number. But anyway, so my mortgage broker and my other thing, my mortgage broker, since I didn't have any kind of like viable income coming out right now because I was a, a senior in college. I had like an offer letter from my from my company and it was like, hey, this is how much you're gonna make. You know, she kind of helped work those things as well. Because, um, I, I can go on and on about the home buying process with my broker because I love her. Um, but if you want more content, you gotta go to the blog. There's more details in the blog, I promise you. Go to the, go to the blog. If you have any questions about the mortgage broker, mortgage broker or mortgage lender, you know, question, comment them down below. If I can't answer them, somebody will. Um, if you have any questions for me specifically, comment them down below, I don't care. Um, I'm gonna try to get to them as well. And if you have any more tips, uh, that you can give about your experience and maybe with a mortgage broker or mortgage lender, you know, drop them down in the comment box below because, you know, the more that people understand, the more that people know, the, the better they can be. I think that's it. So peace.